All right, guys, it's been a while since I've had anything up about the skid loader, but since I got some time, I figured I'd update you. Um, when I left off with that last video, basically we had determined that the engine had low oil pressure and uh, didn't really have any power. Uh, so we brought it in the shop here and uh, just kind of started looking at it. Um, I guess to start off with, the wiring is a mess. So a lot of the wiring is going to have to be redone. Uh, you can kind of see what's left of it there. Uh, when I unhooked the distributor, the plastic plug actually just kind of disintegrated in my hands. Um, we've been doing some hydraulic work. Uh, this cylinder had or got completely rebuilt, and we're replacing all kinds of lines. Um, I pulled the engine out of it, and uh, I guess we're just going to kind of look at it. We were looking at the possibility of putting a different engine back in, and I think we've decided that we want to try and rebuild the one that was in it first. Uh, just because that'll be the cheaper route. So like I was route. saying, the, the biggest problem we have right now is just the, the engine not having any power. And uh, so after I pulled it out, we uh, did some more looking at it. And I had run some compression tests, and the compression actually didn't look too bad. But uh, that still didn't explain why it wasn't, or why it didn't have any power, and why it was burning blue smoke. So we checked the valves. Uh, the valve clearance was way off. Um, so that's going to be one of the first things we do, I guess, is uh, reset the valves. And uh, I mean that could be part of our power loss problem, I guess, but that still doesn't explain the uh, blue smoke. Uh, we've been talking to a guy at Continental Engine, and it sounds like uh, he thinks possibly bearings or valve guides. Uh, I'm leaning towards valve guides, but then again, what do I know? Um, but uh, that's where we're at right now. It looks like we're going to try and rebuild the motor. Uh, we also have a pretty nasty hydraulic leak somewhere. We weren't able to determine where yet, but uh, that's got to get cleaned up. And then I plan on cleaning up all the grease and everything that's in here and just kind of getting everything looking good again. But uh, that's kind of an update of where we're at. We're hoping to have it done by spring. I would have liked to have had it done this winter so we could move some snow with it, but uh, just looks like that's not the way it's going to be. But uh, check back for more updates. I'll try and do a video series on this one, kind of like I've been doing with the snowmobile. And uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and leave a like and subscribe and uh, check back for more.